beautiful jersey gem of the sea ever my heart turns in longing to thee bright are the memories you give oh to stop you. i'm sick of it and i'm sick of this it's boring beautiful jersey gem of <laughs> I knew exactly what you were when you walked in here. You're a youth. And you think you know. Know what? Exactly. And may I ask, how old exactly are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. And you think you know. No, you what? think you know everything. But you don't care. You don't care about this beautiful island. Beautiful Jersey. You don't care about the future. You don't care about this election. You don't care about any of it. They're right. I don't care. But they care, and who would want to be like them? They're pathetic and boring. My name's Chris. I'm 16, and I live in St Saviour with my... Mummy. And... Dad. My name is Julie. I work part-time at the parish hall. I attend a walking group, a gardening group, a sewing group, a knitting group, a book club, and I love baking. And I'm Dave. My parents are pretty normal, I guess. Chris, Dave, have you seen the JUP anywhere? No. Uh, Chris, are you listening to your mother? Yes. Chris, did you find your lunchbox? I left on the worktop for you. No. Uh, Chris, have you heard your mother? Yes. Chris, would you like a fruit shoot? No. All right. Oh, so you're too old for a fruit shoot now, are you? Yes. I'll have it, Julie. Oh, there's the JP. Lovely. OK. Ah, the election. Right, I should oh. be going. No, Chris, you sit down and you listen to your mother. It says here lots of new candidates are coming forward. Yeah, but I've really got to go and make No, Chris, I said sit down and listen to your mother. And they're all talking about the grant system. Look, Mum, <laughs> Dad. I've had a great time, but I really should I said, be Chris, you sit down because your mother is trying to tell us about Grant's sister. Uh, not quite, David. But, Chris, you are 16 now, which means you can vote. So you really should be getting engaged. But, no, Julie, no, no, because he's far too young to be getting married. No, engaged in politics. Oh, good, because the lazy ass can't even find himself a girlfriend. Yeah, all right, Dad. <laughs> Look, Mum, I'm over it. I don't care about these candidates. I'm done. But, Chris, you know nothing about Jersey politics. I'm going to stop you right there because I actually know quite a lot about politics. Right, well, let's hear it. Basically, there's two teams. There's the red team and the blue team and you've just got to decide which team that you want to be on. The first team is the blue team. They're the Conservatives. They're run by someone named Theresa May who thinks that she can make Britain strong, strong and, and stable. stable. And at the moment, the Conservatives are winning because she's the Prime Minister. She's actually the second female Prime Minister that we've had. The first one was Margaret Thatcher. She took away all the milk, closed all the mines. Now she's dead. The other team is the red team, and they're the Labour team. They're run by someone named Jeremy Corbyn, who thinks that his party is for, for the many and not, not for the few. few. And sometimes Labour win as well, and they get to be Prime Minister. And then there's American politics. I can tell you about that as well. Abraham Lincoln, beard, hat, wooden teeth, need I say more. Barack Obama, everyone loved him. And then Donald Trump, he loves guns, hates Mexicans, and once famously said that he wants to grab women by the... Put Perhaps we should stop there. So you do have some basic knowledge, but that has nothing to do with Jersey politics. What? Well, when we vote, we don't vote for the Conservative Party or the Labour Party, and we certainly don't vote for Donald Trump. What are you saying, Mum? When we vote, we vote for individual people who make up our government. We vote for senators, deputies and constables. It really is very simple. It's not. No, it's really not. How can I make this more simple for you? It's just like baking a cake! Welcome to the Great Voting Bake Off! <laughs> now, Julie, what are we going to be baking today? Yes, Julie, what are we baking today? Well, today we are baking a State's Assembly sponge! A State's a Assembly sponge! <laughs> Now, first we need a bowl. Well, Sandra, what kind of bowl do you recommend? Well, Angela, I'm glad you asked. I use a bowl that I like to refer to as the state's 
Chamber. Oh, the States Chamber. There really is no better place to make your States Assembly sponge. <laughs> now, for any good States Assembly sponge, you need three, three key, key ingredients. ingredients. The first ingredient is eight senators. Now, there are some good eggs and bad eggs in here. Oh, before you put them in, naughty, we all get to decide who our eight senators are going to be. Hmm, well, I'll have... That one. Oh, this one. This one. Oh, that one. Oh, this one. That one. That, that one. one. Oh, that That's one's definitely, definitely going, going in. <laughs> and I'll have that one. Oh, oh, I think that senator's gone out of date. <laughs> Never mind. Too, Too late, late now. now. And we give that a, a jolly good, good stir. stir. Now, our second key ingredient are 12 constables. Now, you may be wondering... Where do you find 12 constables? Well, you will find one constable in every parish. We've got St Mary, St Peter's, St Brellard's and St Juan. We've got Trinity, St John, St Lawrence and St Helier. Oh, St Saviour, St Clement, St Martin and Grouville. And we give that a, a jolly, jolly good stir. stir. Now, the final key ingredient is 29 dried up deputies. Now, Sandra, that's an awful lot of deputies. But that's what gives the State's Assembly its unique flavour. Now, you may be wondering... Where on earth do you find 29 deputies? Now, some of the larger parishes are divided up into districts. Just to make it that little bit more confusing. And each district has a certain population. Now, the higher the population of a district... The more deputies it has representing them. Just like this juicy, juicy one from St. Brellard's District 1. This dried up one from St. Brellard's District 2. These two manky ones from St. Saviour's District 2. And this rather plump looking one from St. Helia District 1. <laughs> and they get the picture. <laughs> there we go, and we give it a, a jolly good, good stir. <laughs> now, we need something to bind it all together. Now, to bind together my state's assembly sponge, I like to use a smattering of policy making. A dabble of debate. And a great big handful of time-wasting tit for tat. <laughs> and we give it a, a jolly, jolly good stir. stir. Now we bake our state's assembly sponge for one, two, three, four, four years. years. And then we have our state's assembly sponge. <gasps> Assembly, where all the important laws and decisions are made for Jersey. Right, OK, so there's 49 ingredients... I mean, people in the States Assembly. Correct. OK, and I get to vote for eight senators. Correct. OK, so eight senators, 12 constables... No. You get to vote for one constable in your parish. Right, OK, so eight senators, one constable and 29 deputies? No. You get to vote for a deputy or deputies in your district. So, son, because we live in St Saviour's, you get to vote for one constable for St Saviour's. And we happen to live in St Saviour's district too, so you get to vote for two deputies in that district. Right, OK, so altogether I get to vote for 11 ingredients, I mean people. Correct. Now, it's important to remember that all 49 people voted into the State's Assembly have an equal say and an equal vote on everything that happens in Jersey. So, son, you need to make sure that the 11 you vote for are the right ones. Wait, this is stressing me out. How do I know which ones are the right ones and which ones are the wrong ones? Well, son, this is a candidate manifesto. Now, all of the people that want to run for either a deputy, a senator or a constable write the plans of what they want to offer the island if they get elected and put them in here. So a few weeks before each election, you get this incredibly boring document delivered to your house. But despite this document's importance, most households end up using it for fire. David, don't say that. It's not that long. Yes, it is. And it's not that boring. Yes, it bloody is. It's just a little magazine with a few manifestos. Nothing too overwhelming. Oh, no, son. That's not overwhelming at all. You have yourself a read. Nah, I've got to read all of this. Look, I've got my mates coming round in a second. Nah! You right, Chris? What's going on, man? You right, bruv? Yeah, how's it going, mate? Yeah, all right, Charlie? All right, Dylan? What's that, mate? Oh, it's just a massive magazine my mum gave me. 
Maxim magazine. Your mum got you a dirty magazine. Shut up! I always have to hide these from my mum. Ma- Wait. Chris, man, there ain't no pictures of birds in here. And who is Candite Manifestos? Candidate manifestos? There's an election coming up. Oh, bruv. Whoa! If you've got an election, that is nothing to do with us. Election, as in politics? Oh, shut up, man! No, 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 I know all about politics, because I used to live in London, innit? We, we know. know! Yeah, in Brixton. Yeah, yeah we, we know. know! Yeah, but I was like, well involved in all them... London riots, riots. We, we know! Yeah, but we, like, totally showed the government. And what did you totally show the government? They were like, power to the people and that. Yeah, now, nah, mate, because all you did in the London riots was steal a bag of basmati rice. And literally one Nike trainer? But, Bill, what was them riots oh, about, mate, anyway? Don't ask me questions. You're worse than the popo. Are you going to take your jacket off? Nah, man's not hot. Right, my mum's trying to get me to vote. Mate, we do not need to vote for whoever the next president of the United States of the Kingdom's going to be. But who is the current president of the United States of the Kingdom? Oh, it's that, it's that guy with the funny black hair, isn't it? The Chinese that guy. Kim, Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is not the prime minister. No, we know that she's not the prime minister because Susan Boyle is the prime minister. Yeah, and I've got a question. Why in politics are they always talking about that shampoo? What? Theresa May. Theresa May. Now you're saying that wrong. My mum uses it and it is 100% Tresemme. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, chill out, mate. It's only shampoo. No, it's not. It's this. It's doing my head in. Well, then stop, stop reading, reading it, it, bruv. Look, just pretend that none of this is happening. Yeah, act like you never even knew there was an election and all that shit. Nah, because we cannot afford to get caught up in this, bruv. Yeah, politics is for the old timers. It's not for our young man. Yeah, there's too much going on. Isn't it? Because, like... I'm going out later with Fit Jessica and I can't decide if I should wear my Lynx Africa or my Lynx Dark Temptation. Dark Temptation every time. I know, man. I don't know why I ask you anymore, you know? Yeah, and I've got to keep my mind free for when I drop my first demo on SoundCloud as Lil Ferry. Is that your rap name? Yeah. Okay, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've just got to keep my mind clear for, like, stuff. Yeah. Loads of stuff. stuff. Because this stuff doesn't matter to us, man. Yeah, it's just not important. Nah, because if they like decide to raise the taxes, I, I don't, don't care. care. If they raise social security, I, I don't, don't care. care. If they cut benefit, I'm, I'm not, not bothered. bothered. If they decide to cut maternity leave, so, so what? what? If they cut disability allowance, it's, it's not, not my problem. problem. If they raise GST. Wait, wait. What's GST? GST? Exactly. I don't care. Yeah, and like if they decide to put the taxes at the airport up so that I can no longer afford to fly to Reading with my mates. So So what? what? And hey, who cares where they build the new Lekeneve school? I hate school. Me too, man. I think they should knock them all down, bruv. Like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Yeah, and if there's no one to regulate the rent and my mum can't afford it anymore, it's It's not my problem. problem. My My mum pays pays the rent. rent. And if they close down the skate park, I'll I'll just just skate skate around around the estate. And if they increase the bus fares and reduce the service, I don't care. I'll just get myself a 15. (laughs) And I don't care where Where they they build build the freaking hospital or where they get the money from. Nah, and I don't care that when I work my 14 hour shift in a cafe on a Saturday and the old man owner does not have to give me a break for over six hours because he doesn't legally have to, then they've also lowered the minimum wage. So I work my butt off for £15.27 while he gets to sit on his fat ass counting up all them profits all day. Then I've got to pay £12 to get the bus home because the state has sold the bus company. So by the time I get home 15 hours later, I've only got three quid left. But that's all right, man, because it doesn't affect me. Do you know what I mean? This stuff doesn't doesn't affect affect us. us. When I pass my GCSEs and I decide I want to take A-level, but A-level isn't free anymore, so my dad's got to pay up so I can get a qualification and go to university. But the states vote against the grant system, so I've got to go get a job and work in a bank so I can save up the money. But then by the time I've saved up the money, the university's closed anyway! That's all right, because this stuff doesn't affect my life whatsoever. Yeah, and when I've got to get a free prescription for my asthma inhaler, but there's none left, so I've got to go to hospital, but there's no beds left, so I am left in the corridor, cold and shaking, struggling for breath, while a nurse who is underpaid and overworked can only find me a bowl of Frosties and half a paracetamol, so I'm left in that corridor to slowly die. It's alright. 
It's not my problem. Yeah, we don't care about this stuff. It's not relevant. It's nothing to do with us. Nada. Zero. Nah. It might do one day, though. But not today. We got bigger fish to fry. We've got bigger things to worry about. Yeah, like... FIFA! FIFA! <laughs> wait, wait. I kind of do want to go to university. And Dylan actually does have a problem with asthma. And mate, if I go and get a part-time job, I don't want to be working for pennies. That's like not enough for a box of chicken made nag nuts. Maybe I should give it another go. Trying to get his little brain to understand. Thinking that he knows. What? Exactly. Oh. But you don't care about Jersey. You don't care about the election. Oh, and look, he's reading about St. Peter's when he lives in St. Saviour's. <laughs> Stop reading it, mate. Pretend it doesn't even exist. Pretend like it's not even happening. Chris, oh, you're reading it. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to lie, it's proper hard, Mum. Oh, darling, have you had a long day? Yeah. Would you like a fruit shoot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should we have a look together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about we look at the pictures? Yeah, OK, yeah, yeah. Oh, he looks nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and she's got lovely hair. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've got an idea. Why don't I choose for you? And then you don't need to worry. Yeah, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and some other things I could do for you would be choosing your friends, choosing where you go at the weekend, choosing what food you eat and what music you listen to, and maybe I could even choose the clothes you wear and get you ready in the morning. What? I don't need you to do that, Mum. I'm 16. But you don't mind me voting for you? OK. Oh, Chris, 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 son, no. Take a step into 2018 with me. Lovely, right. You don't have to bother reading all the candidate manifestos because all the candidates have put a video of their policies and plans off of online. You can just watch the videos on the YouTube. Don't bother with all that guff, son. Oh, OK, sounds. Vote.je. Candidates. Manifestos. Here we are. Videos. Cheryl, I've got a degree in contemporary dance. I love sunbathing on the beach. I love St Brillard's Bay and I just love Jersey. And if you vote for me, you know what? I will work really, really hard. Dominique, I have a master's degree in business management and a PhD in ripping people off. And if you elect me, I promise I will expand the finance industry and crush state pensions. Mwah, oh, oh, oh. Miriam, 75, and I look like a lovely old lady, but I'm actually a raging racist psycho-Nazi. I'm Jenny. I've always worked in marketing and I used to work for Jersey Tourism. And I really think we need to do more to safeguard the environment. Like getting rid of these. Bezel, I'm a scientist and I strongly believe that Jersey needs less tax relief for charities and more nuclear weapons. Beverly, and like, I totally think it's like against my human rights that we don't have a Primark yet. Like, I just want to know, like, when is my voice going to be heard? Carolyn, I've been constable for the last four years and I'm really looking forward to running for senator this time. It's really important to me that Jersey is a place where our youth can really thrive. <laughs> so. You're up, my love, eh? My name is Didier and I have been the connetable for the last two elections and I will be the connetable for the next election because nobody has ever run against me. <laughs> and that's fun. Jerry, I mean, you can vote for me if you like, but Jersey's ruined, so what's the point? I'm John, I'm a dentist, and I really care about health in Jersey. And I think there are some super serious questions that we need to be asking. Angus, when I came to this island, you could drink, drive. And I want to bring Jersey back to those glory days again. Jersey, 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 Whoa! Jersey. So, did that help, darling? 
darling. Well, I know which ones I don't want to be in the States Chamber. Well, that's all part of democracy. Sometimes it isn't just about who you want to get in, it's also about who you don't want to get in. Right, OK, so what do I do now? Well, you need to register. Oh, I can't be asked. Would you like me to do it for you? No, but I would like you to tell me specifically in detail what I need to do. Well, do you know your name? Yeah. Do you know your date of birth? Yeah. Do you know your address? Yes. Well then, you can do it all by yourself. So I registered, and I got my mates Charlie and Dylan to register as well. And then things just sort of carried on as normal. And then it was the 16th of May. It's election day. What? I said election day. So we all went to our polling stations. My polling station was at a community centre. Mum was at the parish hall. Mum was at Springfield Sports Centre. Look, I didn't understand everything, so I only voted for one constable for my parish that said they wanted to raise the minimum wage, because I've just started working at a restaurant, right, and the chef there gets paid absolute shh. Sorry. I voted for a deputy, a constable, and a couple of senators. And I didn't understand everything they were saying, but they were talking about healthcare. And my nana is getting really old, and we can't afford 24 hour private care for her, which is really, really shh. I voted for a deputy, a constable, and about four senators. My dad got a promotion recently, so as it turns out, I didn't need to worry about uni grants. But my mates did, so I voted for the ones who wanted to keep uni grants in Jersey. Oh, I also voted for the one that wanted to keep the skate park open. I also voted for the guy who wanted to legalise cannabis. I voted for the one who wants to make Jersey an international finance centre. What? I want to be an accountant. Look, I didn't understand everything. And I wasn't sure whether my vote was going to make a difference straight away. Uh, but the important thing was... I, I voted. voted. Cos look, if you don't vote, you can't expect anything. If you don't vote, you can't moan. If you don't vote, then all the decisions, all the policies, and all the laws will be the choice of the people who did bother to vote. And in Jersey, most of them people that do vote are over 50. Not the vote of the young people. With or without your vote, the election is still going to happen. So we, we might, might as well, well get, get involved. So on the 16th of May, for one day, just one day, you, you get, get a say. say.